Hi, my name is Bill Kinney, and I'm a professor of math at Bethel University. This is video number 16 of my series on foundations of arithmetic, algebra, and graphing. Subtitled, subseries, The Arithmetic of Rational Numbers, also known as Fractions, Part 5. In the last video, I ended with an example showing how the use of prime factorizations can help you do a, a calculation of the product of two rational numbers, perhaps without a calculator. I want to continue that in this video with another example that's even harder. So here we have some really big numbers in the numerators and denominators that are being multiplied here that are, well, the, the two fractions involving these large numerators and denominators are being multiplied. That would be very difficult, it seems, to do without a calculator. If you multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators um, with your calculator, you'll get numbers that are well above a million. Is it possible to do without a calculator? Yes, prime factorization can help us do it. This is kind of fun, I think at least. 800, what's its prime factorization? Well, it's divisible by 2. 400 is also divisible by 2. Continuing, 200 is divisible by 2. 100 is as well. I made this example kind of nice. 50 is as well. 25 is not divisible by 2. It's 5 times 5. So the prime factorization of 800 involves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twos. I'm just going to use a dot for multiplication here. 5 twos and 2 fives. How about the other numbers in this product? Let's go to the next biggest one, 25, 20. It's divisible by 2. When you do that in your head, you'd be left with 1,260 when you divide 25, 20 by 2. That is also divisible by 2, leaving you with 630. That's divisible by 2 leaving you with 315. Uh-oh, no longer divisible by 2. But this is divisible by 5 because it ends in a 5. Anything that ends in a 5 or a 0 is divisible by 5. Remember that 5 goes into 120 times, so it's going to go into 360 times. Think about that. It'll go into 315 63 times. Hopefully you remember uh, that 63 is 7 times 9 or 7 times 3 times 3, 21 is 3 times 7. Ultimately, we have 3 twos, 2 threes, a 5, and a 7 in the prime factorization of 25, 20. Maybe try the next one on your own with, a, uh, you know, pause the video, 52, 50. Try the, getting the prime factorization of that on your own. Pause it. After back, I'll go through it myself now. It's divisible by 2. It ends in an even number. Um, and if we do divide it by 2, we end up with, let's see, 2625. Oh, no, no longer divisible by 2, but it is divisible by 5. Think about this here. 5 goes into 120 times. It's going to go into 1,200 times, into 2,400 times, into 600. It's going to go 100. 20 times, let's see, what are we up to now? Uh, 520, 525 is going to be the answer there. You could also just think about the fact that um, 2,500 divided by 5 will definitely be 500. And then we're adding another 125 on top of that, so we need another 25 there, 500 plus 25. That's divisible by 5 as well. Uh, 105 right there, 5 goes into that, 21 times, uh, 3 and a 7 here. So we've got 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 7. And finally, the last number, 8820. Again, you might want to pause it. Hopefully this will work out nicer with more 2s, but let's see what happens. Go ahead. Are you back now? I'm going to do it now. 44, 10, 2 times 44, 10, that's 
2205. Oh, now we're in odd numbers. Um, that's divisible by 5. 5 again goes into 2,400 times. It goes into 240 times. 441. This looks a little tough. Doesn't end in a 0 or a 5. But here's a little trick. The, the digits do add up to 9, which is a multiple of 3. And therefore, it is going to be divisible by 3. And in fact, it will also be divisible by 9, ultimately. There will be another 3. Um, 3 goes into 300 100 times. It goes into 420. That would be 140 times. Uh, another 21 on top of there, 147. That's been divisible by 3 as well. 49. 49 is 7 times 7. So this is a little tricky for some people, but with practice you can get better at it. There's the prime factorization of 8820. Okay, so now we're ready to, to finish the problem. I'm going to go ahead and write the prime factorizations of these numbers in here. 800 again is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. 2520 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7. Again, I'm using dots for times here if you forgot that. I'll even use a dot there. That is standard to do. 5250 is 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 7. 8820, if I haven't made any mistakes, hopefully I haven't, is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 7. Okay, now here's the, where the fun begins. Um, you can do a bunch of cancellation, or I really should say dividing out. Cancellation really should be reserved more for when you take a number like 5 and add it. Additive inverse negative 5 to get 0, they go away. When you divide out, you're really creating a 1. For example, 2 divided by 2 is 1. I can imagine dividing out the, the 2's to leave me with 1 over 1, which is 1. So I'm going to divide out everything that can be divided out, and it doesn't matter where you do it. This 2 can cancel with this 2. This 2 could even cancel with this 2 over here, if you like. This 2 can cancel with that one, this with that one. This with that one. Looks like there's only one 2 left up there and no twos left in the bottom now. The threes, any threes, and there's, there's one three on top, so we're gonna have a bunch of threes still. Only one of those cancels. There are a bunch of fives on top and two of them on the bottom. One, two of them there, I cancel two of them on top, it doesn't matter where. And I can cancel these sevens here. So in the end, what's left over? I've got two fives, a two, and another five up there. 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. You can put this all in one fraction. On the bottom, I've got a 3 there, a 7. Two more 3s and another 7. So hopefully I haven't made any mistakes. Uh, if, I, if I did make a mistake anywhere, I'll come back in the next video and correct it. Um, 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Times 2 is 250. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. 7 times 7 is 49. Okay, do that in my head too. Let's see. 27 times 50. I'll figure that out first. 27 times 10 is going to be 270. Multiply that by 5 to get 27 times 50. Or, or better, perhaps, 27 times 100 is 2,700. So 27 times 50 would be half of that. Uh, which would be 1350. 27 times 49 is going to be 27 taken away from 1350. That'll be 1323. Hopefully I didn't, that didn't make a mistake there. So I'll stop this video now, and if I made any mistakes, I'll let you know in the next video.